My name is Lori Enos, and I'm the Director of Pupil Services for the School District of Onalaska. This is my 12th year in this role, and each time we have a new board member elected to our board, I get to meet with them individually for about an hour and introduce them to what the Pupil Services Department does in our district. Pupil services in each district may be organized a little differently, so what I share is very specific to the School District of Onalaska. When I meet with the board members, I go over what areas in the district fall under pupil services and talk a little bit about each one of those areas. This includes such things as district enrollment, special education, Section 504 plans, the English language learner program, school health services with district nurses, school psychologists, school counselors, school social workers, gifted and talented program, school-age parent program, homelessness, foster care, at-risk services, homebound services, Title IX, mental health services, and a few more that are added to that list. I also go over the budgets that I manage that help support these programs in the district, including any federal grants we receive and district funding for special education and pupil services. Most people do not know about the pupil services department in their district. So many new board members are also unaware and are surprised by the information that I share. Typical questions that I receive from new board members, um, oftentimes they comment on how diverse the role is and how many different areas are included under pupil services. <clears throat> Sometimes I get questions about how many students are served in each program or service, how many staff members fall under pupil services, and sometimes we talk about the budget and about how much, um, how much our budgets are on average to help support these programs and services. I do find value in having these meetings with new board members, first of all, so that I can meet them personally and make a connection with them and start a relationship with them, but also so that they have some background information. When I present information, say at a board meeting, they have some point of reference to draw on regarding pupil services. They also know who to contact if they have a question regarding any of the areas of pupil services. So I think this is a really good practice for district office staff and even building administrators to be able to meet with new board members as they're entering into that new role for them.